I'm going to talk about the patch notes. So the game is attempting to load up. Again, I'm not sure what's eating my system resources up. Let's see if I can figure this out while this loads. Bear with me. I promise it is attempting to load up. Something is eating up all my CPU core, and apparently it is Nox, and my Sophos antivirus is fighting itself, trying to scan Nox as it's loading. All right, so the key point that I'm going to go over is going to be the actual patch notes coming up for the stuff for tomorrow. Stuff that's going to be going live tomorrow should be pretty cool. They are going to have a whole bunch of new Astromon, which is what I'm excited about. So I want to talk about that. So still waiting for the load. Again, patch is coming in tomorrow. Uh, last weekend, I had one of the viewers ask if I thought the new continents were going to open up on this new patch. I said I didn't think so. I think they'd activate the dark contract first. They were right. I was wrong. The new continent is opening up tomorrow, which is going to be very interesting. Starts tapping to start. Hey, girly taker, how you doing? So this is because I have just a few minutes, a very short broadcast coming up. So a friend is texting me. What are you up to? I am doing a short MSL broadcast right now before. Now, before I wash up, if I can type correctly, there, type correctly. I'm doing pretty good. All right, but I wanted to talk, okay, I know you're new to this game, but I wanted to talk about the patch because this is a pretty big maintenance patch coming up tomorrow. That's why I actually loaded this up so I could talk about it. So maintenance coming up for tomorrow. Uh, rare they do Thursday patches too, by the way. Usually it's a Tuesday patch. Yeah, I heard you weren't doing well. I hope you feel better. Um, I actually was sad to hear that you weren't feeling very well. All right, so first thing in this patch, um, they are going to be fixing the Colossus dungeon, which was screwed up. Um, the Colossus dungeon, which was screwed up, there was an issue where the dungeon, when you first switched your team, this for the second time, all of the SP on the other team was lost. Just outright, poof, went away. All right, so they're fixing that. Because that's been broken for two weeks, they're giving a two-week boost to the Siegfried Soulstone drop, I guess, starting tomorrow. Which, or maybe not starting, but it looks like they're going to announce that as an event. So... We'll see when that actually starts. And apparently I'm getting network buffer issues, so hopefully the video is going through okay. All right, so adding of new astromons. So check out these pictures. We've got, um, from the left to the right, we've got the beetle. I'm pretty sure that's the beetle. It might be the peyote. Followed by the... Um, uh, followed by, where are you, the Pegasus. So this middle unit is the Pegasus, followed by the Slime Soldier. Um, pretty cool. So all new units are going to be the Peyote is all new, the Zarid is all new, the Chiripati is all new, the Mildew <laughs> is all new, the Amanor is all new, the Slime Soldier is all new. Pretty sure the Beetle is not, B-E-A-T-L. I think that was a dungeon mob, but they've added a light, and a dark version of him, but he was a light before. I could be wrong about that, that unit on the left, but I think this four-star beetle, um, they've just fleshed it out. So there's now going to be a dark version. No wood version, but there'll be a fire and water version. That's actually quite odd not to have a wood version of that. Uh, the Pegasus. I'm really excited about the Pegasus. That's going to be the rebirth going into the Heroes Festival. So the next month and a half will be a Pegasus unit. Um, and so that should be pretty cool because that's basically it's a winged horse. Um, it'll be cool to see what they do um, com combination combo wise with that. Um, so the slime soldiers only acquirable through the capture fest. So they'll be activating the capture fest sometime in the next three or four days to start capturing those. You'll be able to get the light and dark ones through fusion. 
The beetle will be acquirable in the new continent for the wire, fire, water, and wood. Like I said, the light was a dungeon. So the darkness must be, maybe they'll do a dark beetle dungeon, perhaps. We'll see. Um, Pegasus is acquirable through Rebirth Festival, like I said. The Peyote, Zerid, Chirpate, Mildew, Amano are acquirable in new continents or by eggs. Fifth continent, Big Notice, is now open. Giant sword laying on the ground. Um, so the Deserted Battlefield, and they're flushing out these gems of armor. You can already get these from the Colossus Dungeons. That's the only way to get them right now. So they're six-star gems. So now you'll be able to get them as one through four-star gems. Um, very interesting. They're making Sand Wraith uh, a rare here. So you'll be able to catch Sand Wraiths and flesh out Sand Wraiths if you needed to. The Mishas are going to be available as super rares. And the Beetles will be the legendaries on the map. So I'm guessing that that's probably going to be maybe the... I'm so not sure they're going to do the dark in there. Um, you have to have beaten the Aurora Plateau. The next one over, acquirable gifts the Gem of Salvation, Hit Point Recovery. This is another one of the Colossus Gems they're fleshing out. Uh, the rare will be the Fennec, which is really odd because right now they're running the Fennec Dungeon. So I guess they're letting people get a whole bunch of Fennec so that they can uh, make their lighter dark Fennecs as many as they want this month only. Fennec Surprise. The super rare will be the Misha, which again fleshes with the other one because it's a joint continent. And the legendary will still be the Beetle. The Capture Fest will be the Slime Soldier, three star fire, water, wood. Um, scrolling back for a second. But they mentioned there was something else that they had. Is okay. So yeah, the Capture Fest, the Slime Soldier. Uh, check out the monthly event, Capture Guide. January tenth will be through twelfth will be the pre festival, which means you can't catch it. You just register during that time. The festival will be the twelfth through the 29th, Capture as many as you can, and the finale will be the 29th through the thirty first. Um, it'll slime in all adventure zones during the festival. Uh, so they are double the rate of super rares to show up. Um, always, always, always farm as much as you can on that first day for it because I think they actually give you a better chance to catch them on that first day. That's been my experience for all the festivals. Um, the best day to catch them is on the first day of said festival where you can catch it, which would be January 12th. Um, and then normals will be the water, or normal will be the wood, hard will be the water, and extreme will be the fire. Uh, as always, the captured astronauts will be level one in their evil one form. Uh, their offering, of course, you can buy Benedict and Sarah Sephora's. With that actually costs you actual money. Um, only applies on the first. Exotic Fusion is how you get the light dark slime soldier. Uh, the maintenance ends January 31st. It's weird that they're saying that. To make the dark slime or the light slime would be 300,000 each. Only once per account. Squip gems go away. Gem slots random. Level 1 evil 1. Fusion variant does not guarantee the variant. Um, they're going to have Slime Soldier shards for sale on the pasture shop. My cat just jumped on my desk. Good job not landing on my phone. Um, variant Astromons in the Crystal Shop. After the maintenance, there will be a five, uh, three-star Fire Slime Soldier for 300 crystals. My fat cat just sat on my keyboard cable, and now I can't move my or my mouse cable. I can't move my mouse. Now she moved. Thank you, Vivi. When she comes back around, I'll pick her up so you guys can see her. Um, special package. Slime Soldier special package. You can buy four three-star fire slimes for 999 astrogems. Or you can just farm on the maps and catch them. And save a lot of astrogems. That's pretty pricey. Um, additional bonuses. If you buy it three times, you get a light dark egg. You do it five times, you get a clean egg. But additional bonuses. I, in order to do that five times, you had to have spent about 4,800 astrogems, which is crazy. Um, they are bringing back Superfest for the Victoria and Nike. Uh, I expected they would probably do this, and I was right, they have. So you're going to be able to get a bonus 600, ast or 600 astrogems for Super Evolving the Victoria during the festival, which is cool because I actually have a Water Victoria that I can Super Evolve. Um, so I'll get some astrogems out of that. Skill books in the Crystal Shop. Five star random books for 400 crystals, you can get a single five star book for any of these units Arthur, Valkyrie, Artemis, Omyoji, Sanzang, Balrona, Persephone, Indra, Garuda, Shinobi, Sun Wukong, 
Merlin. Say hello, Vivi. Vivi's like, why are you picking me up? Hello. Okay, down you go. Um, I think they actually dropped the price on that. For 100 crystals, you can get a random four-star skill book, but that's a lot of different skill books, including ones that you might already have maxed out. The Hermit. Okay, they should not have Hermits on this list. Um, just because, just, they, if they narrowed that list down to certain numbers, I would maybe give it a shot, but not at that rate. That's crazy. Um, and then all of these skill books here for the three stars, don't ever buy any of these. You'll get these just from random drops from doing map runs. Additional changes, they added new missions, story missions, chapter 37 to 42, the capture collection missions for the regions, uh, capture mission Astro Guys to Wear Collection number four, Legendary Astromon Collection number five, Mission Translation Improvements. Before Evolve 30 Astromons to Evolution level three, after Evolve 30 Evolution three, Astromons to a Variance. Oh, that's an interesting mission. That's going to make it a pain in the ass to do that. Um, just because you have to get a variant to do that. I guess you could still do it with the one star variants. That makes it easier, I guess. Um, Astromon of the Month system is going to be. Disabled after the update and replaced with new content later. Yeah, so interesting stuff. And then different people have different suggestions for different things. So that's that is a huge amount of the patch. Uh, again, it was a really big patch that's me implemented come tomorrow. Wanted to do a quick broadcast, talk about it, because I won't be able to do any of that until most likely Saturday or Sunday is more likely. Um, so anyway, hopefully people found that useful and hopefully everybody's doing okay.